I've known about PQQ for some time, but I got the impression that it was just one more supplement that was neuroprotective by protecting your mitochondria. It's not super expensive, but it's not cheap either, and I already take quite a few supplements. So that alone was not really enough to pique my interest all that much. On the other hand though, I'm not getting any younger and protecting your neurons is very important later in life. So I finally decided to start taking it. Because of that, I started to look for more information and I was surprised to learn that it's actually an essential nutrient that is absolutely required for your mitochondria. In fact, in animal studies, a specially made diet devoid of PQQ causes them to degenerate and if left without it, they'd perish. Thankfully, PQQ exists in a wide range of foods in small amounts, but considering it turns out to cause the creation of new mitochondria in the body, you probably want as much as possible in your life. For me, once I gave it a look, it was love at first sight. Fran Stalinaskovich Delvedevinsky. Oh. Every time I talk about a nutrient, there's always people who demand to know what foods you eat to get it. There's also people who love the question if we really need more than whatever we're getting in the diet if we're not dead. Well, if taking more has benefits, then yes, you should probably take more. It's really that simple. In this case, while it is pretty much in all foods, at least in tiny amounts, there's only one food that has significant amounts. There's some good and bad news though, because it's also one of the highest oxalate foods in the world, chocolate. And while it may seem high compared to other foods, they measured in micrograms per kilogram, not milligrams, or even nanograms, which is even smaller. So you're gonna to have to divide by 1000 to get its value in milligrams per kilogram. And when you translate it into more common units, unfortunately there's less than one milligram per pound of cocoa powder and hundreds of grams of oxalate per pound. And a pound is about half a kilogram, so it doesn't come out any better in kilograms. Since supplements typically include about 20 milligrams per serving, and some of the studies go higher than that to get the best results. Even eating pounds of cocoa powder per day would probably ha have no difference in your health. And it's gonna have a huge difference in your health because of the gigantic amounts of oxalates in there, which is not just bad for your kidneys, but it's metabolic poison. In fact, you may want to go higher than 20 milligrams, even 40 or 60 milligrams, especially if you're taking it for anti-aging purposes or for certain other issues I'll come to later in the video. But for now, I'm just taking 20 milligrams. PQQ or pyroloquinoline quinone is essential to the human diet. There is ongoing debate if it should be classified as a B vitamin or not due to technical reasons. But it has been shown in animal studies that a diet without any will quickly lead to the animal being extremely ill and probably expiring if kept on the diet. When PQQ is given, the problem quickly reverses. Can't really do an experiment like this in humans because they throw you in jail. And that's really the only reason we don't know absolutely for sure that it's actually a real vitamin, or at least that's why it's still contested by some people. PQQ has antioxidant cofactor properties, but it's not a direct antioxidant like vitamin C is, for example, so it can't overreduce things and do inappropriate things in the body. It's just going to help the process of detoxifying free radicals along. Without it, cell damage would be much harder to control and you'd age faster. In fact, you'd probably expire in just a few weeks or months. In bacteria, it causes very rapid growth. This is a property shared with mitochondria, and that is what makes PQQ 
such a very interesting nutrient to me. Plants and animals don't make PQQ at all, but they both require it as a cofactor in important operations within the body as an electron donor. Thankfully, plants get it through their roots from bacteria, and humans get it in virtually all foods because all plants soak a little bit in, and all animals require it too. I would also speculate that the PQQ levels in plants and animals today are much lower than they used to be because the soil doesn't have as many beneficial microbes in it anymore, especially if it's given chemical fertilizer and plowed. So you would probably get higher levels by eating grass-fed beef or lamb, but we just don't have the data to prove that for sure, but basically it kind of has to be true. PQQ has been promoted as a nootropic in the past, and that's how I always remember it being promoted until recently. But these days, it seems to be promoted as a heart-helping agent, probably because it boosts mitochondria. Just keep in mind that if you're using it for cognition, you're going to get the most benefit if you're over 45, and then you're actually going to get improvements in memory as well. Now there's a lot of things that can protect your mitochondria from damage, such as taurine, glycine, L-cysteine, bilberry powder, astaxanthin, and even phototherapy. However, causing mitochondrial biogenesis and the creation of new mitochondria is much more difficult. Fasting can help with this, but fasting does take some effort, and you only get what you give when it comes to fasting. Exercise can also help, but it is mostly limited in effect to the muscle. It also takes effort and it requires a certain level of health. And many people as they get older have things like bone spurs that just make it almost impossible to do meaningful exercise. PQQ was first shown to increase mitochondria in mice, but it's also been shown to do so in humans. It's also proven to increase the ability of cells to utilize oxygen. And this is due to the increased mitochondrial power. And this proves that it's actually making more mitochondria. Total number is actually increasing. This is required for fat burning and also to clean up the nasty byproducts of carb burning, which are greatly increased compared to burning fat. So this is going to keep your body out of the Warburg effect of fermenting fuel since you have more mitochondria. It's also the basis for exercise performance. So while it doesn't seem to increase sports performance in the short term, I would imagine that long term use would do so, or at the very least, it's going to help prevent decline as we age. Since it increases mitochondria and fat cells, it can help turn them into so called beige fat cells, which are similar to brown fat cells. That is, into fat cells that actually burn fat and help the body lose weight. It has been shown that PQQ not only induces fat burning in cultured fat cells, but it also reduces the storage of fat in fat cells and the creation of new fat cells. This is not surprising because it is actually the mitochondria that provide the basal metabolic rate of the whole body, and that's where fats and carbs are actually burned as fuel. PQQ is also shown to reverse heart failure symptoms in animal studies. My vitamin shop had it in the heart health section, so that seems to be what people associate it with today, even though it was always marketed for other purposes in the past. Anything that boosts mitochondria is going to help the heart, but it will also help in many other ways. And it's also going to help a lot more than enzyme CoQ10. It doesn't actually make new mitochondria. It's also going to help with liver failure and kidney damage, which it's shown to do in animal studies. And it has a lot of anti-aging effects, too. If we believe in the metabolic theory of cancer, then PQQ boosting mitochondrial count and function should also help in this case. Indeed, it has been shown to cause apoptosis in cancer cells because it is the mitochondria that control apoptosis in cells. And anything you do to increase mitochondria in cells will also help trigger this process whenever you have cancerous or senescent cells, if it's needed. 
I take 20 milligrams a day of PQQ, which I get at the vitamin shop from their store brand. But any PQQ from a reputable shop should do nicely. Just be aware there's many online scams for vitamins at the big box stores these days. So try and either go and pick it up in person or get it from a reputable place that actually sells only vitamins. The effect on cancer is also dose dependent. So if I had it, then I would increase the dose even further. Or if I was very overweight and had plenty of money to spend, then I'd also give it a try for that purpose. The anti-aging aspect is probably the main thing that might make a higher dose worth it though, especially if you're quite a bit older. PQQ does not seem to be broken down by your liver or kidneys, and it leaves the body in the urine over time, so it should be safe to use even at much higher levels than 20 milligrams. And some of the studies do use a bit more. As if the mitochondrial benefits were not enough, PQQ can also reverse senescence in cells. And this is a very exciting find. And reversing senescence in cells without killing the cell itself is the ideal mechanism of action. I'm surprised that the anti-aging community doesn't really talk about PQQ much. But to be frank, they mainly seem to concentrate on the supplements that have the biggest profit margin. PQQ is also shown to increase cognition at all ages. And in people over 45, it also leads to improved verbal memory within three months of use. It also undoes many of the damaging problems of aging and skin and collagen, which will help preserve your youthful looks much longer. And if you look awful and feel awful, then it's not going to do much good to live longer. It also helps prevent senescence due to low estrogen, which prevents bone loss after menopause. In fact, since it prevents or reverses senescence in cells, it's going to have a gigantic range of effects for the whole body. But there's not much money in researching PQQ, so it's not been as well researched as it could be. PQQ is even shown to induce autophagy in brain cells and to reduce brain cell death when they're exposed to toxins. The microglia are cells involved with protecting the neurons and with autophagy. And broken autophagy in these cells seems to be a part of the problem in diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's or maybe even the main problem. Considering the vast expense of dementia care, Everyone should probably be taking some PQQ as they get older. And if you want your parents to stay lucid, you might want to have them take some too. In fact, the government should probably be trying to get everyone to take this stuff as they age. And if for no other reason, you should probably have your parents do it just to avoid having to pay through the nose for their care in later years. Alright, so that'll be... This many dollars. That's weird. <laughs> this thing has the same misprint as that magazine. What are the odds? Once again, I just want to thank everyone who supports the channel. It means a lot to me. Not just the monetary support, which is amazingly generous, but also the people who watch and like every video. Because without that, the platform just won't show it to anyone. And also for all the amazing comments about the changes people have made in their life with heart failure and with so many problems it just amazes me and keep in mind due to the way that the algorithm works and some of the topics that i talk about just getting people to see the channel and be promoted even a little bit by the algorithm is very difficult so i gotta thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for just helping to keep the channel going because if no one sees the videos there's not much point in making them but keep in mind i also have a rumble channel with the same handle LT Pottinger. Not too many people seem to be on Rumble, but sometimes I do talks there as well. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and look for that channel as well. In summary, PQQ is a very underrated supplement that's going to help you with every organ in your body, but especially for anti-aging and cognitive decline with age. I take 20 milligrams a day and will probably up this dose a bit when I get older. 
Or honestly, after listening to myself talk about it, I may even up the dose now. PQQ has been around a long time as a means to enhance cognition a bit and to help prevent so-called senior moments where you can't think of a word and so on. And that was why I started taking it to prevent problems before they crop up. But I was shocked to see how much more research there's been in the last 20 years. If you want to increase mitochondria or cognition, induce autophagy in the brain to clear out plaques, burn more fat, cause apoptosis in cancer cells, create beige fat in the body, increase the oxygen burning ability of cells, reduce systemic inflammation and reduce inflammatory cytokines, reverse cellular senescence or simply just have better skin and lung health, then PQQ is a must have supplement for your stack. PQQ also boosts verbal fluidity, so maybe a certain fitness influencer we all know and love should also consider taking some. After all, without brain health, you don't have anything. Yeah, you know, because everyone's got a brain. A meta-analysis, a meta-analysis, a meta-analysis. Or almost everyone.